Hey guys, Dormy here with AndroidSpin.com, giving you a quick unboxing video of a product from Forest, the PlayFi speaker, um, also called the PS1, as far as the model number is concerned. Uh, I got my t-shirts up here from when we were in Las Vegas for CES this uh, this year, about nine months ago. We met up with these guys and got to see a demo of their products uh, up in a, in a wonderful suite. Uh, the, the lead designers and the whole team that was putting these together were just amazing people. I've been waiting for these to come out since January. Uh, so now it's October 5th. Uh, they've just released into production and sales of these products. You may be able to find them on Amazon.com and on their website at Forest.com. Uh, P-H-O-R-U-S. For us. Uh, some backstory that we picked up was a lot of the guys were actually part of another major speaker and audio company that you may have heard of before, Harmon Carden, which produces some amazing products. So the guys that helped create this company and create this product stem from there. So they know what they're doing. They've got a lot of know-how. Uh, got this thing this afternoon. It is, I don't know, about 9.30, 10 o'clock at night now. Got it about 2 o'clock. I've been waiting all day just to get this unboxing done so I can plug it in and play because the thing sounded phenomenal while we were in, the, in the, the suite and at the hotel room. Can't wait to touch it. So what is it? Anyway, it's called a Play, play Fi Speaker. It is a wireless multi-room audio system. And this is the actual speaker. They do make a secondary product that is the uh, PR1, which is a receiver. Uh, this is a speaker, so it actually plays the music through the unit. You'll find out here in a second, uh, or you'll see here in a second. Whereas the receiver will just re pick up the audio, and you'll have audio uh, headphone out or RCA out, excuse me, to to your stereo, home stereo system, or to anything else that you could plug it into. Um, so here's the box. Pretty little box. Got logos here on the side. Everything matches the shirts. The whole concept of this was to get some lossless audio going. Um, a lot of the speakers that we find currently either need to be directly plugged into the speaker unit itself or run off of Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth does have loss to it, compression issues. You'll get some popping on some lower quality stuff. This isn't going to give you that. Uh, we'll show you exactly how that works out later in another review. Uh, right now we're just going to pull the box open. There on the back we've got a little, little bit of information. Uh, you wire wirelessly stream your audio from your Android phone and tablets. <clears throat> uh, duh. You can control playback on your phone itself. So there's a companion app that you get, which is free uh, to download from the Play Store. Won't do anybody a darn bit of good unless you have one of their products. Uh, to utilize it with. You can link up multiple PlayFi speakers. This is where it kind of comes in and is really cool. As you could have this unit, which we'll see in a second, in the kitchen. You could have another one of these in the bedroom. You could have the receiver hooked up in your living room to your stereo system. And you'll be able to control all three of them right from one phone and be able to stream the same music to all three of them. Or you can turn off the one in the bedroom Turn off the one in the kitchen, just use the living room, vice versa. You can change it all around. So you can control all these different speakers all from your phone through Wi-Fi versus Bluetooth. So you'll have a wide range of, of however far your Wi-Fi will reach, you'll be able to control the music from. So let's get into this thing because I've been waiting all day to pull this puppy open. Uh, we've got the, the box here, obviously. You get your, your speaker warranty, your quick setup guide. Uh, one of the big things they showed us while we were there uh, and that I was talking with the representative that I've been communicating with to get this here uh, is the one-touch setup. I mean, it's going to be a breeze to just plug it in, hit go with the app, install, done, and we're going to be streaming in no time. I'm not going to show you that here just because I don't have enough phones to demonstrate it uh, and play it out. So we're just going to get the box opened up. Obviously, we need a power cord because it does need a charge or a, a needs power because we're not going to be running this off of a battery. We have two separate cables here. We've got the regular USB on both sides. One is a mini, one is a micro. Uh, they include both so you can charge a variety of tablets and phones and anything that you pro probably have laying around that you might need to charge. You can charge it off of this device at the same time. So you got some extra cables, which is always nice. They're good and short, so they'll reach from the back to the front. Now, my favorite part here is getting this puppy out of the box, because I've been waiting all day for this. Set that down here. Here it 
um, it's like Christmas in October. I love it. Boom. All right. Meet the Forest PS1. Wi-Fi Bluetooth speaker setup. You can see around the sides here, this is all a, uh, gosh, what would you call it? Probably a, a microfiber-ish, neoprene-ish covering. Kind of like your traditional speaker cut grill coverings for your home stereo systems. Wrapped really nice and tight around it. On the back, we've got the port for the sound for the subs. Um, on the bottom, we have a little thing that they didn't tell me what was in the instructions because I kind of read those earlier. We have your USB out port, we have another little adapter slot, your power control, and your reset button. Uh, you'll want to be able to reset the device just in case you lose the connection to your phone or you have any connection issues. You'll need to be able to reset the unit itself, not just the application. On the front, we have a rubberized uh, grip stand so it'll support your tablet, vertical landscape, any phone vertical landscape. However you can manage to connect up or set up and if you just want to set anything here in front of you to watch or listen to or have access to while it's charging. We have your power, your volume up and volume, well volume down and volume up buttons on the front as well as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi uh, buttons so you can alter between using the Wi-Fi connection or using the Bluetooth. Obviously you probably use the Bluetooth if you're not in a Wi-Fi accessible location, say you're visiting a friend's house or whatever and they don't have Wi-Fi, uh, you're in an office where you place this to where your Wi-Fi connections have certain security things that won't allow the app to pass through to the speaker, so then you'll want to use Bluetooth, of course. Uh, so they give you both options, so it's not just Wi-Fi, you will have Bluetooth connection as well, uh, so you don't have to worry about using one or the other. Um, it's really light doesn't weigh a whole lot feels really good in the hands obviously it's not something you're gonna be carrying around but as far as dimension wise vertical we're looking at 5.5 inches tall across the base we're looking at 8.3 inches across and depth wise we're looking at 6.2 inches wide so it's not really all that huge uh, the unit cone design is going to give the unit full-on 360 sound range so it's going to produce music all over the place you don't have to worry about direction and, and aiming a speaker in a certain way so you can hear it better or anything like that where you'll get with the single directional speakers that you usually pick up so i got my busted s2 here samsung galaxy s2s just so you can kind of see size wise comparison towards the phone how big it is how tall it is a little bit taller than the S2 itself by it all on its own. Obviously, it easily will support the weight and the size of this phone. Uh, if I had any tablets laying around, which I don't because I don't have any because I'm poor, you would see that uh, the blip on this is definitely out enough in order to hold on to a full-on 7-inch, 8-inch, 8.9, 8.2, 10 10-inch tablet without a problem. It's not going to fall over. It's not going to go anywhere. Your tablet's going to be fully supported. Um, so that's the Forest PS1, and uh, I'm really excited. I'm going to go hook this thing up, get it connected to my Wi-Fi, and get some music pumping through it. So wish me luck on that. Make sure everything goes as good as it's supposed to go. And shortly you'll see a full-on review and a video review, of course, of the connecting and the sound. Have a good one, guys.